Hello oh guys, um, I'm back again today and today I'm going to do something very special, something that many people have been wanting to see for some time. I'm going to do a demonstration of the serial decode functionalities on the Regal DS1074Z oscilloscope. So before I begin, I'm just going to go into some new things that have been happening in the lab such as um, my new Agilent 6114A ultra precision power supply. Um, it came a little bit broken and I want to give a hat tip to Rob Renz on the forum for on the EEV blog forum for helping me to fix it and I do have a part of the absolutely gorgeous voltage reference board on here. Not sure if you can see it, give me a second. Yeah, I think you can see it good quite nicely there. Gold plated tracks. It's absolutely beautiful. So today I'm gonna do this in um, a couple parts, I am going to, I'm not going to go very deep, but I am first just going to go into the um, RS-232 because that's the easiest for me to do here. So I have a la Dell laptop connected over here. My, the desktop I use and my ThinkPad laptop don't have RS-232 ports and this is an older legacy model. So I have broken out RS-232 like this. I have a cable and I've broken it out. So we can um, go ahead and, right now it's not set to decode anything, but I'll just send some data through and we can take a look. So let's just send an A through. Yeah, we can see. Um, let me just, let's go over a little bit. So yeah, we can see that. Um, square wave, it's a U. And, uh, uppercase U, it's another, it's a perfect square wave. Let me just zoom in, see that? Beautiful. All right, so um, for this I'm at 9600 baud. Um, it's at 500 microseconds per division, horizontal, and 5 volts on the vertical. So, the serial decoding on this scope, unlike with the high-end Agilents or Tektronics, is, does not occur in real time with hardware. This is a software decoding scope, which explains the very low price point, however, still allows you to get all of these features. And, um, they typically are paid features, but Thanks to many people on the forum, we can look at this, and bam, everything on mine is official. So that's all thanks to the hard work of, of everyone on the EV blog forum. So um, let's start the decoding process. So I just have, let me clear the screen. So I just have it set to um, normal trigger. I'm not using auto right now, so we can keep the waveform on the screen. So to set the decode, so to set the decode, you have to go into math, which, I mean, I can understand, but hey, I like on the Agilents how there's a separate panel on the side for serial decoding, but come on, this is a $600 scope, you're not going to get that. And something else I'd like to point out is even the very expensive Rigols, such as the 6000 and the 4000 series, do not decode in hardware. So if you're about to drop that much money on a scope, that's something I'd look out for. So, um, there's actually a video on YouTube by, by someone comparing the, the serial decodes, and there's a pretty clear difference. So we can decode, let's turn RS-232 on, channel 1 is transmit, I put my baud rate at 9600, yeah, why don't we just use the preset, alright, there we go, 9600, um, polarity is positive actually, um, this doesn't, yeah, this is all fine. Alright, so, let's give it a try. Alright, hello guys, I am back, and um, I just had to set up everything on my computer over here, and I was dealing with a little bit of a problem, so that was my fault, I was being stupid again. So, you know what, let's begin. So, I'm going to send down a, and for this, I typically like setting the memory at 24 meg points, because doing a demonstration, I don't really need all of the, um, I don't need the signal, I don't need to look at the waveform intensity or, or whatever but more I need to the length, the record length. So let's just send down lowercase a, a, no problems. Not sure if you can see that correctly. I think you can. Give me a second, let me try and focus on that. All right, you can see the a correctly. So b, yeah, solve normal. And there is an event table. So we can open this up, event table, on. All right, so. ID and then um, B. So it's cute. So it 
Instead, why don't we do... Well, let's see what this does. Alright, so... Um, view, let's look at... So... Um, I'm actually, I have not done very much decoding on this before, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's supposed to go, um, can't see that, give me a second. Not sure if it's supposed to replace the event each time or if it's supposed to, if it's supposed to give you details, if it's supposed to go down in the list or whatever. I'm, I'm not very familiar with the decoding in this. It's, um, immensely powerful, I can tell you that. For a $600, for a sub $600 scope actually, you can do a lot with this scope. So let us look at the other features of it. Um, decode, so why don't we send down something, um, why don't we send down something long? So I'm just going to send down a hello world. Give me a second here, I'm on the computer. I'm actually using Putty, to, and I'm at 19,200 baht, so me. See? Now it fails. What? What? I can't send down a hello world. What is this? So let's just try sending down some basic characters again. Alright, works. So let's send down something longer. So let's just send down hello. Oh, good. So we capture this event, and you can tell that, um, oh, good, it's here. Okay. Hello world. So I did send that down. And you can tell something with this is that with serial decode, it becomes terribly slow. This is, it's not something you'd really enjoy using on a day-to-day -day basis, and I mean it screws up. I'm sorry. And then it screws up and you can't really see it and and it's it just becomes a pain to use. So let's try that again. Alright, so hello space world, that's fine. Yeah, alright. So um Rigel certainly has some so you know what? why don't we try the event table again? See what that does. Event table, alright, on. Oh, see, look. You can see the limited. All right. So is it? So is the event table limited to a certain number? Of, oh no, it's not. Right. So the full transmission has come through. So um, yeah, decoding is relatively powerful. And I'm gonna kill the video, and we're gonna switch off to. I square C, and um, if I have time, maybe even some SPI buses. So RS-232 is just a little thing to, for what, what's to come, and I'll see you. Hello guys, so um, right now I'm going to go ahead and show you SPI. No, I'm sorry, not SPI. I square C decoding, it's getting late, I should be going to sleep, but I will show you SPI decoding. So here I have it all set up, um, SCL is channel 1. SDA is channel 2, and um, it'll decode an ASCII, and address is normal. So I'm not actually writing anything, I'm just going to show you the process of a decoding. So let's turn decode on. So I have a um, signal, which basically what happens is it decodes, um, let, me, let me focus it for you for a second. So what my signal does is it, it comes, it's coming from an Arduino. And it, de and it changes it writes to address 1, 2, 4, and 8, and it does that once a second. So, let, well, so let's zoom in a little bit more, and then we can see. So you can see right here for decoding, you can see it go from 1, 2, 4, and 8. You can see the clock remain the same, and this data is changing right here. So, um, I am actually not triggering on i square c right now. Just like for the RS-232, I'm using a normal trigger with, um, here, you can just look at my trigger settings. Edge, channel 1, rising, very standard stuff. So, 
nothing special there, but um, yeah, I'm basically just triggering on the edge. I find that much simpler to configure because right now it's hooked up to an Arduino and I don't have any device on it. I'm just writing random crap out. So yeah, like we can reset it. You'll see it's waiting. Okay, there we go. Start it again. And um, single. Yeah, there we caught something. And auto. Auto's not of much use. It goes boom, 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 boom. So I think if we can zoom out a little bit, if we can go like uh, so, some somewhere like there, where it's still useful. So we can actually, we should be able to observe it come and go every once in a while. See that? So we can actually observe it come here every second. So um, I'm doing just some relatively basic demonstrations. I'm not gonna go into a very um, in depth because I haven't really had that much experience with using decoding. I haven't used it much. I will try and get to playing around with the serial decodes on this more for things like SPI and um, and what other buses do, do we offer here? I think that's, that's about it. It's the three main ones. So decoder, oh, parallel as well. Well, it's, it's four channels. I, I don't understand how you're supposed to do parallel. So here you go. You have now seen decoding on a four channel sub $600 oscilloscope. So um, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. And I might do a couple videos on my Agilent 6114. And that'll be that. Bye.